Trump has made it clear he wants to have a rapid trade deal with the United Kingdom. He wants to reduce the number of nuclear weapons in the world. He loves our country. What's not to like? Well, let me just tell you something. I, I've been cautious about revealing much of what uh, was said between Trump and myself uh, on that day, just four days after he was elected and won the election. Uh, and I was photographed by those golden doors, uh, doors, I emphasize, um, in his apartment. But prior to that, I'd spent several hours inside Trump Tower and I've been talking to his team, to his advisors, his close campaign managers. And what they said pretty much blew me away. And I've not said it until now because I think that uh, conversations like that should be kept confidential. But given that Trump has said what he said to a British newspaper about wanting a rapid trade deal, I will explain to you. I was told that doing a trade deal with the United Kingdom was a high priority for an incoming Trump government. The reason is they want to show the world they're not actually close-minded, they're not insular, they're not against free trade, but they want to do free trade with countries of equivalence on similar uh, levels of pay and costs. So they see this as a priority. The other thing they told me was they believe they can get this done and dusted, completed in 90 days. Now isn't that stunning? When you think what, what we were told in the referendum, that it would take years and years and years. Cameron said it could take five years, seven years, nine years. This Ivan Rogers chap who was our ambassador, who I'm very happy to say resigned last week, told us it could take ten years for us in the EU. They want it done in 90 days. These people aren't mucking about. These people mean business.